Welcome to this week's episode of Project Rising Sun. I am Jeremy of Brendel Concepts, and today this is where we're at. We are on the back end. Uh, last couple episodes, we've been covering a lot of the front end. Uh, we did the round rod, we got the foam in place, you know, we saw the shapes and everything kind of take place. And like I said last time, this week was all going to be about the back end of this car. A lot to show, the the process itself, we already covered it. It was a lot of shaping of the round rod, a lot of, you know, the epoxy, the welding. Um, I kind of covered all that. And if you want to see that, you can go back to some of the previous episodes and check some of that stuff out. But what we got here now is really defining the car. And I was really happy with how this turned out. There's a lot of body lines that I want to show you. We'll do some different videos uh, and I'll talk about it so you can kind of see it. It's, it's kind of hard to see all of it just kind of standing here. So we'll do a little bit more uh, in-depth explanation. So mainly with this side, the passenger side, the hardest part was the gas door. And again, I said early on that this circular shape here in the gas door kind of bugged me a little bit, honestly, because I just, you know, other than the badges, you really don't see a whole lot of that in the car. So the C shapes or the circular shapes that I've added into my wide body kind of play off this and allow it to make sense to me visually. Um, I've had a couple people, you know, say to me like, oh, wow, uh, now that they've seen it, they're like, oh, yeah, that really does make sense and how things just kind of blend away. That in a, in a nutshell is what I try to do. Um, I think a lot of times it's really easy to make things look over exaggerated and, and really aggressive. For me, um, the artistic part of it is trying to make something really crazy look normal. Um, that to me is the, is the hardest challenge. So this car is really coming along, fitting that bill quite nicely for me. Um, but let's get to uh, some of the body lines and the shapes that I've got going on. So one of the biggest things that struck me when I first saw the Supra uh, was this body line right here above the side skirt. It's really interesting to me how they blended it into this section right here. It just kind of dives into the body and it really kind of threw me for a loop when I wanted to do the wide body section right here. But using the C shape right here, like I mentioned on the gas door, I was able to pull this section out and create this opening, um, kind of like a vent, uh, that really pulls this look together. Now, one of the things that I liked about this body line the most was that it's really flowing and it really made the body of the Supra feel um, non-linear, I guess is the best way. It's very flowing, very sculpted, very contoured, which was really cool. And I wanted to play with all that. So taking this body line um, under the door, you can see now where I've come to here. I wanted to play with this arch uh, in the door itself because I thought it was a really neat feature on the Supra. Again, hate the fake vents that Toyota did, but what can you do? Um, this section right here is kind of playing on this contour here, but also playing with this body line right here. So what we have is this really neat intersection point right here. This really blends everything together for me quite well. Also, playing with the bottom of the side skirt here and here, I've created this motion that flows all the way around. So when you look at this visually, you will see this, you know, cool kind of transitioning going on right here. This section of the car is going to be left wide open. So although I have sections that will be attached here to join, you know, the wheel well to the side skirt and the same with wheel well to fascia, this section is still going to remain just like stock to really play with that width and dimension. So we have a couple other things I want to show on the back end. So let's take a look at that. The back end here was kind of really a trick uh, only because of these winglets. And I've touched on these before. These winglets really throw everything off because there's really no good way to do anything with them. Um, I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it. I've seen other people, they've done, you know, kind of a cover over or an addition to try and make it more pronounced. My idea was to make this molded. So what I've done here, again, I've taken this C shape and again, I've taken that step over effect that they have on the bumper. I've talked about that before. I've carried that through also to the rear. This now will blend and make this winglet actually transition into my wheel wells here. This C shape is playing with all the C shapes that you have, you know, 
across the bottom of the car. Again, I'm a huge fan of uniformity. If I see it in one spot, I got to see it everywhere. So a lot of people are saying, well, okay, that's cool and all, but what are you going to do on here? Well, the answer is simple. All these areas in here, all these areas that I've trimmed will be finished off. I'm going to be going in and adding additional structure in here to add support. All these areas will actually be you know, completely sealed off. You will only have an opening right here. It's a lot of internal work that has to be done, but to me, this is what makes, you know, a true handmade, one of a kind build. This is exactly what you have to do in my book. So I'm gonna do a little bit of walk around and kind of show you the whole thing here. And uh, if you can kind of use your imagination and understand what it looks like with the foam, you'll really kind of get the idea of what this car is gonna look like. It's getting big and it's getting freaky. And uh, yeah, I'm really liking it. So let's take a look at those uh, videos right now. And I think that's about all we're gonna have for this week. Next time, I'm going to have the other side welded up and hopefully everything foamed, which would be a major step. So make sure you check in back and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.